So Marjorie Taylor Greene knows that anything she says will be accepted by her audience because she already has a built-in scapegoat. And that is that anything that is said against her or any MAGA politician for that matter is all liberal propaganda. If she gets fact-checked, well, that's just the liberals trying to silence her. Fact-checking is silencing or taking away their First Amendment right in their world. And so she knows she can say anything she wants to. And if she frames it in the context that they're coming after your way of life, then her voters will eat it up. And that's exactly what happened on this next clip. I want you to take a look at what she claims is going on in Ukraine. And then we're going to come back and debunk this idiot real quick. He's talking about, um, you know, confiscating assets from the Russian people, just like you said. Well, that's pretty much illegal. They're having a lot of problems with that. And Europe does not want to do it. And that's where most of those assets are. But let's talk about what this really is, Steve. This is a war on Christianity. The Ukrainian government is attacking Christians. The Ukrainian government is executing priests. Um, Russia is not doing that. They're not attacking Christianity. As a matter of fact, they seem to be protecting it. So that's something else that's clear and obvious to many people that are looking closely at what's going on. So yeah, that one got fact-checked, and now if you look at that tweet right below it, there's a box that says Readers Added Context, which in MAGA's world just means they are trying to silence us. But it was pointed out really quick that Russian soldiers have repeatedly threatened to destroy evangelical Christians. They've called them American spies, and they've called them enemies of Russian Orthodox people. It was also pointed out that 494 religious buildings, theological institutions, or sacred sites have been destroyed, damaged, or looted since Russia invaded Ukraine. 170 were evangelical sites, 75 were Pentecostal churches, 49 Baptist churches, 24 Seventh-day Adventist churches, and 22 other evangelical churches have been destroyed by the Russians. But Marjorie Taylor Greene is not going to tell you that because we all know who she's really speaking for. It, it's, it's so mind-boggling to me how that they will say these things and people will just latch on to it. And then when they see the, the fact check box, they don't buy into that because that's just the liberals trying to shut it down. But Marjorie Taylor Greene knows that all she has to do is frame it. That, hey, they're coming for Christians. They're coming for your way of life. They're trying to destroy you. And she knows if she says that, then her audience will buy it. It boggles the rest of our minds because we're reasonable people, but that's reality. That's the alternate reality that they live in. And um, there's another clip I want to show you here because it's, it's very interesting to me. You know, Marjorie Taylor Greene for so long has went back and forth on January 6th. One minute she will talk about how that it was just a peaceful protest, that nothing happened that day. Then she'll say it was Black Lives Matter and Antifa. Then she said that, oh, you know, it's just liberals trying to make us look bad. You didn't see the whole story. Let's show you some other videos. Let's show you a story of a woman on a park bench feeding her chihuahua two blocks away, and that will show you it was peaceful. She just always goes back and forth. But you got to remember, she did ask for a pardon. And now in this clip, she's saying that, yeah, she wishes they would have just got it done on January 6th. Take a look at this. If I had it my way, we would have impeached him a long time ago. <laughs> Actually, if I had it my way, we would have been successful in our objection on January 6th, and he wouldn't even be president. <laughs> so for the moment, she's back to admitting it. Yeah, that's exactly what they intended to do, was interfere with the peaceful transfer of power. They intended to overturn an election they lost, and they intended to overthrow the government, and she wished it would have happened. That's what she's saying today, but I promise you in just a couple of days, I'll be making another video where she's blaming it on somebody else. I don't know how, I truly don't know how, that MAGA believers jump through the hoops they have to in order to perform the mental gymna gymnastics they perform every day, because I couldn't do it. Because I'll, I'll be honest with you, anytime I sit down in a chair to make one of these videos, You'll hear me say a lot of times, I'll always circle back to and I'll say, now I know someone's going to say this, or hey, I know they're already saying this, and I do that. Because before I even speak, I've thought of every possible rebuttal that could come at me. And sometimes I still get blindsided with some really good doses of MAGA stupidity. But I pretty much know what the argument's going to be coming back at me. So if Marjorie Taylor Greene told me, we're going to go up there and fight like hell, and we're going to overturn this, and then we did, I'd be standing beside her going, yeah, see, we did it. And if she said, no, that was Black Lives Matter and Antifa, I'd be going, well, hold on, I thought that was us. I, there's no way I would ever be able 
to go along with her bullshit. But people goes along with her bullshit. And what's even funnier is she comes right out loud and admits that the GOP Congress has been a total failure. Take a look at this. We should be prepared to hold on and do what is right, to do what our voters sent us to do. But that has not happened this Congress. As a matter of fact, our Republican House majority has failed completely. Well, for once we agree, the Republican Congress has been a total failure, and they've been a total failure because of the likes of Marjorie Taylor Greene and all the shit stirring that she's done and all the chaos that she started within her party. That's why they've not been able to get anything done. They don't want to work with the other side at all, and they've made it perfectly clear that anyone who does is a traitor to their party. How will we ever accomplish anything? If we have a mentality of we have to completely destroy the other side at all times, we can't even agree with them if it's something good. How are we ever going to come together as a country and work together and get stuff done and accomplish things? And at the end of the day, I don't give a damn who gets the credit for it. I truly don't. If we can put an end to gun violence, if we can keep our children safe in school, I don't give a damn to, if we give a Republican credit for that. I don't care if they get to stand up and, and pump their fist about it. If they're the ones that did it, great. Go for it. If we can come together on some sort of agreement and you're the one that, that pushes it on through, good for you. If we can come up with a way to make sure that everybody has affordable health care and everyone is taken care of in this country, I don't care who gets the credit for it. But they do. And they will sit and tell you what a crisis is down at the border and then turn around and tell you we're not going to fix it yet. No, let the crisis keep happening. Let everything we're saying keep happening. Let all the Hannibal Lecters come over here. Let all the drugs and all the violence come over here. Just, just endure it. Just endure it. And if your daughter, basically what they're saying, this is why I get so offended when they, when they bring up Lake and Riley. What they're saying is we're, we're going to use Lake and Riley's death here for a political prop. But now if your daughter was to get unalived in the coming months, that's tough shit because Donald Trump has to run on it. That's, that's what is so disgusting and so despicable about their party. And I really, I honestly, I always start off with MAGA Republicans. And I really even feel guilty saying that because this isn't the Republican Party of my grandfather's at all. And to anyone in my family who is still voting for Republicans because Papa did it, you're brainwashed. And I don't care if you talk to me at Thanksgiving, okay? I don't give up. Flying fuck one way or the other. I'm going to stand here and tell the truth. And this is the hill I chose to die on, so I'll be right here.